Yo, what's good, boys? Today, I'm going to share with you guys some tips and tricks that I personally use to get better AK spray in Rust. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is go into your console, and you're going to type in recoil. And right here, it says player.recoilcomp. You're going to want to make sure that's true. It's going to help with your recoil in the long run. The next thing that you guys want to do is hop into UKN, and you're going to want to go over to where it says pattern HUD. Click it. And you're going to see the spray at the top right. So when you're spraying, you can see how close your bullets are to the actual spray. The next thing that you guys are going to want to do is get good at the first three bullets first of the spray. So that you can get it down for the long run. So it's going to be just bursts of three like this. Like that. And you're going to want to get good at those before you move on to the rest of the spray. The next thing that I want you guys to focus on... Rather than just focusing pulling down to the left, you're going to focus on making sure that it's head level. And once you can get it at head level, then focus on making it right or left. Because a lot of people, they'll be able to pull it to the left, but they'll just have their gun going way higher than the head. So if you can keep it at head level, that's really good. Because even if you're not the best at keeping it to the left or keeping it to the right, you could still get those lucky headshots and be closer to the body. The next tip I want to give you guys, when you're moving and spraying, I like to move left first because if you can see the pattern of the AK is actually moving down left. So while you're moving your body left, it's actually helping with the recoil itself. And then once you go left, you can move back right. Because if you're going right, you're kind of counteracting the whole motion. If you're going right and pulling left, it's going to be harder to balance that out. But if you're going left and moving left, it's going to help you with the recoil overall. So it'll look like this. Like that while you're moving left. If you could see now I move right, it's going to be a lot worse. See, it's a lot worse than I went to the left. But if I go to the left, it actually helps with pulling down and left with the AK recoil. The next tip I have for you guys is to take advantage of all the varying distances. I like to use the longest one because if you can get good at this one, you can ultimately be good at the rest of them. Another thing you guys want to take advantage of it is these moving targets. Another thing guys, you want to take advantage of these moving targets over here, as well as these spray transferring targets on these walls and in these windows, because they're more realistic scenarios in an actual game. The way to train these would look something like this. Just transferring over from each of them while they're running. For these on the wall, you can either spray three bullets move like this. like that or you can spray transfer just keeping one continuous spray across all of them also you want to practice these ones in the window because you're gonna have a lot of people in a shooting floor during a raid that you guys got to practice spraying against another tip I want to show you guys is practicing your spray with an 8x the reason is because it causes you to actually pull down on your mouse a lot more than you usually have to which then in turn helps you with the smaller recoil adjustments that you need with a hollow sight so obviously I'm going to spray with the uh, 8x, it's going to be pretty bad. It's causing me to pull down my mouse a lot. But then when I put on the hollow sight... You guys can see that it's a lot better. And it helps my recoil a lot. You could also do this with other guns as well. I've seen a lot of people put it on, you know, Tommy. They put it on LR or whatever. And it actually helps with the muscle memory and pulling down more on your AK. So that when you put the hollow sight on, it feels like less of a transition. Another thing that you guys should actively be practicing is standing spray. Because there's a lot of scenarios where you won't be able to crouch. Or you won't be able to crouch in time. Or someone's over a ledge that you have to stand. So you want to practice your standing spray at these different distances as well as the crouching spray because, you know, there's different times for different things. So you're going to want to be practicing your standing spray as well. It's a lot harder, as you can see. I'm a lot better with the crouching, but that's definitely something you guys want to practice. I mean, I think I need some practice on it as well. Overall, guys, it's really just practice. The more time you put into your recoil practice, the better your spray is going to be. But taking the tips that you learned from this video will definitely help you guys in the future to get a better spray and start beaming your opponents.